So my name is Ramiro and this is my brother Jonathan. And uh, so we are here because he um, uh, actually heard uh, my testimony video and it like it was just a little seed that was planted in his heart that um, basically changed the rest of his life. I was uh, on a dope binge for the past six months. Uh, today marks the 19th day of me being sober. Uh, I'm married. I have three kids. Uh, my sister-in-law came and stayed with us at the house. I'm from Oklahoma City. And uh, she busted out a meth pipe out of nowhere. She's like, hey, you want some of this? At first, I was like, man, put that up, man. Like, get that out of my face. But what she didn't know, I was on a three-year sobriety from meth. Um, I've always struggled with meth since I was 16 years old, off and on. And she just kept on and kept on, and I had a weak moment, so I hit it. So just from then on, it was just every day, every day. A few months down the road, my sister-in-law and I got really close. We got too close, like physically close, and um, I betrayed my wife with my sister-in-law. And I was just so out of it, man, that I didn't even know what I was doing. I told my wife what I had done, and at that point, she was pretty much just done with me. It won't have nothing to do with me. She just took my kids, and she just took everything I had. But I don't know, like that right there just really hurt me. And I got down to my knees, and I'm like, honey, I'm, I'm very sorry. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose my children. Whatever you need me to do, just tell me. And I'll do whatever you want me to do. I told her I was going to go to this church. And she's like, yeah, I don't know where that church is at. That's right next to Brahms on 23rd. And so I went to church. And I walked in and all these people were giving me hugs, like asking about me, hey man, how you doing brother? You doing all right, how is everything? And I never felt such love from st complete strangers ever. And they made me feel very welcome, very loved. And I listened to the message at church that day and, it, and I gave my life to Christ that day. I surrendered myself completely to him. And um, I'm very grateful to be here. I'm very grateful for my brother. And above all, I'm just thankful to God that He saved my life. Because I, I, I should be dead right now. And every day I thank God, every day the second I wake up, I'm like, thank you, Lord, for allowing me to wake up. He gave me another chance for nothing. That's what redemption means to me. Because He gave me another chance 